Okay, the objective here is to try to show how this um, bubble wrap insulation will perform. I know that for all of you R value uh, fanatics, that this may not be the perfect controlled experiment and all that. I'm not, I'm not trying to be perfect here. I'm just trying to get a vague idea how well the bubble wrap works and to see if it's worth me spending the extra money to go ahead and put some more insulation on the inside of this building. So right now I'm just uh, trying to figure out how how uh, good that it works and if it's the proper way that we're installing it. Here's the insulation right here. Here's the R foil reflective insulation. It's got the foil backing on it and on this side you can see it's like white vinyl. You can see how that they're installing it. I made them put it that way. The Mexicans did not like that. They did not want to put that insulation underneath the horizontal boards on that building. But uh, that's the way I wanted it done, and that's the way that they're doing it. And I'm glad that they are. I'll show you why in just a second. This is my control panel. Uh, it's in the shade. It is not insulated. It's just in the shade. This is, I think this is uh, our September the 7th, 2015. Um, it's 92 degrees outside. Um, here's, you can see the little thermometer that I'm using. This is a fluke. It's a good one. Concrete showing to be 101 degrees. 102, 103, 104, 105. Side of my house, 134 degrees. In the shade right here, the outside of this panel showing to be 92 degrees. And that's pretty much what the outside temperature is. Underneath this, which would be the inside of your building. 92 degrees. That's what it should be. Now, that's the control panel. I left it in the shade. Let's go down here quickly. Sorry for all the walking and moving. You can see my old truck. This is a panel that I built. No insulation, just like the control panel, except it's just laid out here in the sun. It usually reads to be several degrees cooler than these others. I don't know why that is, but a non-insulated building seems to be cooler on the outside. 135 degrees is what this non-insulated panel, let's read what it says on the inside. 135 degrees. So it has no, no insulation value. Panel number two is how the typical pole barn builders install this insulation. This is not how mine's done. You can see mine has a air gap in between the insulation and the steel. This one is not that way. You can see here, insulation is laying right there against the steel. Let's read what it says. 153 degrees on the inside. 110 degrees. That's a significant difference that it's making. This one here is how I installed mine. Steel, wood, insulation on the back. Let's read what it says. 155 degrees. Hundred and four degrees. That's even better. This right here is the last one that I have. I, it's not the perfect situation by any means. I'm just borrowing one of my neighbor's uh, fancy, real thick insulating uh, panels here. You'll see in just a moment. Let's shoot what it says. 151 degrees. And then we flop it out. You see his big thick insulating panel there. Let's see what it shows. It's been showing about 98 degrees. It's showing to be 101 now. Okay. So, what's the point? The point is very few people are going to put three and a half inch thick insulation in these buildings when you can get the bubble wrap for pretty cheap. So, the bubble wrap, if it's installed correctly, almost does as good a job as this. Uh, putting it underneath the steel does work, but it does not work as good as putting an air gap. And a pole barn with no insulation doesn't hardly do anything. And that's all I got for you.